Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, su amigo Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock this Samsung Galaxy S21. As you can see here, this Samsung Galaxy is locked. I know that it's locked to AT&T, but let's pretend you don't know what carrier locked this phone. So we're going to click dismiss. You're going to search for a website called IMEI Check, IMEICheck.com. Click the menu. We're going to click Samsung IMEI Check. And here they just need the IMEI. So how can we get the IMEI uh, about the phone? Here's the IMEI. Click and hold. Go back to Chrome. Click and paste. Click check. So here is going to tell us what carrier locked this device. It's AT&T. If this device is unlocked, it will say here unlock. There's one thing though. Last month I tried to unlock this device and I got denied. Let's see if I have a better lock this time. First of all, I want to clear the cache. How can we clear the cache? We're going to go to the three dots settings under privacy and security, delete browsing data, browsing history. You're going to select all time. So you're going to delete browsing history, cookies and cache, delete data. Okay. Chrome is going to start from zero. We're going to search for AT&T unlock. You need to go to AT&T.com forward slash device unlock. I'm going to put a link on the description so you can go to the right website. AT&T is not going to charge you anything. So close that. We're going to select Samsung and we're going to click start and unlock request. Here they're going to ask for the IMEI number. It should be under about the phone. It should be right here. Click. It's already copy on the clipboard. Go back to the website. Do we have a mobile number from AT&T? No. IMEI. Click and paste. You can see the portal recognize the device as the SMG991U, which is the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G AT&T variant. Click here on I read the legal info. Okay. And then we're going to click next. You're going to have to put your information, but make sure you don't even click on mobile number. If you click on mobile number, you're going to have to put a number. Okay. Just put your name, Alex. Last name Suniga. Just scroll down. Don't click here. Click on email and use an email that you have access to. Now we have su amigo Alex2 at Gmail. Make sure it's the same. Click submit. Thanks. We got your request. Now we need to confirm that request. Here we're waiting from an email from AT&T saying, thank you for requesting an unlock. Now you need to confirm. A lot of people complain they are not getting this email. If you don't get the email right away, that means that you need to use a VPN. Maybe you are not in the US. Finally, we got the email. It says AT&T online services. Click here. Confirm your device unlock request within 24 hours. The only thing you need to do is click here. Confirm your request. Thanks for confirming. Here's your unlocking request number. We will email you when we reach a decision or if we need more info from you. So what we do guys is we can go back to the email. This is the email they sent to us and you can see here the link, check the status. We're going to click there. Look at this guys. Current status approve. We approve your request to unlock your device. Here are the instructions to complete your unlock. The unlocking code is, and they send you a code. What I usually do is I take a picture of this code on another device, and then I use it on the page. Now, you don't actually need to turn off the phone. All you need to do is pop up the SIM card. So pop it up, and it says check SIM card tray. Here we have a SIM card from Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile use the T-Mobile network. So let's put it back. And that's going to trigger the unlock code menu. It says enter unlock code. Your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card. I'm going to put a dummy code just for you to see what's the message you will get. You see that there's a limited number of digits you can put. And then if I click unlock, look what's going to happen. Verify network unlock code. Incorrect network unlock code enter. Supposedly, you have a limited number of tries to put a code. I think it's 10. I'm not sure. Some other devices, they will show you how many tries you still have. Samsung doesn't do that. Okay, so I already burned one. I don't want to burn anymore. I'm just going to copy the code. 773-09-73-52-52-74-29-68. And then I'm going to click Unlock, and I should get a message saying Network Unlock Successful. Click Unlock. Verify network, network unlock. That's it. And you can see that immediately the phone is trying to read my SIM card. Before it was not reading the SIM card. 
Uh, you can see it right here. Look, Mint, and it gives you a phone number. I don't have an active line on this SIM card, but since I'm using a SIM card from another carrier, it's still going to work to unlock the device, okay? The only thing I want to show you is that now it says Mint. Before, it used to say Network Lock. So now it's unlocked. Let me see the status about the phone, status information. You're going to click SIM card status. It says Mint service state in service. Okay. So let's see if now they're going to allow me to call uh, customer service. Yeah. Oh, Fox, it looks like we found an error. Please wait while we get a human on the line to help. That happened because this Mint SIM card is not active, but I was able to dial Synchron 1. Okay. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me, what happened if my device is from another carrier? There's a way to unlock the device for each carrier, T-Mobile, Verizon. I have videos about it. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go to those videos. But this is how I unlock my AT&T S21. Now it's 100% unlocked. A lot of people are asking me if the phone is going to get locked again. Never. Once you unlock it by the server, the official way, it becomes unlocked forever. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to contribute to the cause, if you want to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free. It's going to take you one second, and that's the best way you can support me so I can do more videos for you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.